the years, many people have asked me how I came to end up in this confounded chariot. Well, it wasn't pleasant, was it, Fife? I won't forget it in a hurry. You see, Fife and I were painting the ceiling of his drawing room a number of years ago. I was up the ladder and Fife was down below in more of a paint-providing capacity. Isn't that so, Fife? Just so, just so. Whereupon happened my little accident. And, well, we've written a song explaining the rest. I thought the pinnacle of frustration in ceiling decoration was getting those flecks of white paint in your hair. But the very devil stalks the land when you're up a ladder, brush in hand, as now we know, but then we're not to wear. If the story we're about to tell might save another, then very well. I won't hold back on details, please take note. You see, when painting up on high, I got something in my eye, and I owe this disposition to that moat. As Brabin stepped down from the rays, there was a parting of the ways. And I did the most acrobatic splits, you'll see. But a music stand beneath got my best bits in its teeth as I graced it like the fairy on top of a tree. <laughs> you know that bit between your testicles, testicles and your anus? The bit that's sometimes covered in downy hair. <laughs> oh, there along the seam, the skin that's in between had opened like, like the door to a beggar's lair. <laughs> the feeling left me reeling. You'll never paint another ceiling. I'll only ever perform a semi log a wreck. I've lost me lower deck and you've left me with a half ass job. <laughs> you know that bit between your testicles and your anus indisputably the unloveliest body part. Well, to summarise, there's a hole between my thighs and I can achieve a fine vibrato when I fart. 